Hi guys, this is John from Meat Logistics University, and this is Deli Meat 104, how to process fresh deli meat at home. Fresh deli meats are simply uncured whole muscle cuts that'll be seasoned, smoked, and stored with the intention of slicing them for sandwiches, subs, or just as a snack later. A common and easy to use cut for this is the eye of the round. It's a whole muscle, it's already the right shape to make roast beef out of, and it's gonna work for cold cuts, whether it has the fat cap on it or not. Now with just a little bit of preparation and patience, you can have a large amount of deli quality food in no time and at a fraction of the price. First thing you have to decide is whether or not you're gonna keep this fat cap on. Some people leave it on for the cooking process just to let the fat render down through and then they'll cut it off. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off right now. It'll just make the processing a little bit simpler in my mind. Now the next thing you're gonna have to do is marinate your meat. We're always gonna look for a marinade that includes some sort of phosphates. Now what phosphates do is they allow the meat to retain more moisture through the cooking process. And since we aren't gonna or cure this, we can't step it up in slow stages. So moisture loss could be a significant problem through the cooking process because we're gonna have to start at a fairly high temperature. So we'll marinate the eye of the round in Paz Black Bull Soluble Seasoning. And since it already has sodium phosphates in it, we don't need to add anything else. Once we're done with that, we're gonna vac seal it and allow it to marinate overnight to try to allow the meat just to accept as much of the seasoning as possible. Okay, so we went ahead and smoked this at 225 degrees. We did that for about three and a half hours. Now I only got this to 131 degrees internal temperature. Now remember, I can get away with not cooking things to 160 degrees because this is a whole muscle cut and very little bacteria actually lives inside of the meat. It's all gonna be there, if it's there at all, on the outside. So by cooking it to 130 degrees internal, we're sure that we've killed off any of the bacteria on the outside. Plus, I just like a more rare roast beef. I don't like a well done. As you can see, this is really nice and rare in there. Can't wait to slice this up and eat it. Speaking of that, I'm gonna use this mostly for sandwiches, so I'm gonna cut it as thin as possible. So I'm probably gonna go with a, a one, a one and a half, and a two setting on this just to get them as thin as I can. Then we'll get them on some bread and have some delicious sandwiches. Now, an important note is once we've sliced this, we have exposed everything to bacteria. So our lifetime on this is gonna be three to five days and then it's gotta go. Just to be safe, make sure that you're not getting yourself or anyone sick with this. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltonsinc.com and meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with Meatistics University, and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos, or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Check out our latest sales and giveaway video here, or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.